Hi friends, today we look into arithmetic operations in Bash and how to do simple calculations. As promised in the last video, here is the answer to the second Bash challenge. Replace the shell directory path with the system variable $shell to add your default shell and use echo to add a comment by using the system variables date and user and redirect them with double greater than signs to add them on a new line into your file name variable using one angled bracket overwrites the file so make sure to use two doing calculations in bash has limited functionality it's more to help you with automating tasks than to do complex calculations. There are multiple commands you can use for running calculations in Bash, each working slightly different. But the preferred method is using the brackets. One limitation of working with integers in Bash is that we only work with whole numbers, not decimals. Out of all the bash commands supporting calculations, the brackets are easiest and most used. Simply use the echo command followed by the dollar sign with double brackets and place your calculation inside the brackets. As you can see, decimals are not allowed and the result is rounded down. You can also use nested parentheses. Now let's apply them using a variable. If you're new to variables, make sure to watch my previous video. Assign an integer to a variable, then use double brackets to add a calculation using a variable. You can use different formats for calculations. The easy way is by combining your operator with the equal sign and then use echo to show the new value of your variable. You can also add everything in one line, but add a dollar sign as a prefix to double parentheses. Here are two different formats to run the same calculation. You can increment or decrement a variable by one with double, plus or minus. One thing to notice is that when using the echo command to return the value, you use the dollar sign as a prefix. And if you only want to calculate using the variable, only use brackets without the dollar sign. You can also assign and calculate using multiple variables together. Instead of doing this in three or more lines, you can do it in one line to calculate the result. But make sure to prefix the double parentheses with a dollar sign. The let command is also fairly easy to work with for calculations. Some variables like date can also be calculated, but using their own flag options instead of arithmetic operators. For example, calculate date with the dash D flag. Here we assign a variable to current date plus 10 days and print it using echo. Here is your third bash challenge. Use the script from the last video and add a script which adds a comment on the third line of the new script which says that you'll need to finish the bash tutorial in 14 days from today. The output should create a script file, something like this. I will share the, share the answer in the next video. Hope these bash videos help you to automate more tasks to save you a lot of time. And I hope to see you in the next video.